Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today I'm going to be giving you my six month review of my Coach Pillow Tabby Bag. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. But today we do have a six month review. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys without any further ado let's get on into the video so yes I have had my coach tabby bag right here since November of 2022 so I have had her for technically I think seven months but we're just gonna call it a nice solid six months review so I have had her for quite some time so I do have some thoughts I want to go over some things with you guys regarding this bag and tell you if I think that she's worth it if I think that you should spend your money on her give you all the ins and outs so first things first let's go over the appearance of the bag this is again the coach pillow tabby bag in the 26 size they do have one size smaller than this that is the 18 size I'll put a picture it's like a cute tiny little mini bag it's the cutest thing on the planet but here is what the bag looks like as you can see it does have this really nice puffy pillowy texture and I believe I want to say that it is Napa leather but I will get more into that here in just a minute it does have a shoulder strap just like this and it is attached by these little hooks and then here is what the back looks like. No pockets or anything, just a very smooth back. And then the bottom looks like this and there are no feet. There is a cute little coach dog tag right here that also has the puffy texture. That's really, really fun to play with, <laughs> to be honest. On the inside of the bag, it does have one button snap closure. Here's what it looks like on the inside. It does have a smaller kind of back pocket back here. It does have a middle zipper compartment in the middle and then a bigger pocket at the front. And then if you open up the middle compartment, that's what it looks like inside of the middle compartment. It does come with a crossbody strap, as you can see right here. And then it has these little attachable clasps like that and then it is kind of like a belt style so it looks like this and it is of course detachable and adjustable and i have mine on i think the shortest setting i don't really wear this crossbody but yeah it does come with the crossbody strap this bag retails on the coach website for 550 dollars however i probably wouldn't recommend getting it from the coach website because you can find so many sales i feel like every time i speak about this bag i talk about the sales i got this bag from zappos i got the 26 size bag for the price of the 18. so the 18 i want to say is like 350 or something like that and that is kind of what i paid for this around 300 ish dollars i did not pay 550 dollars for this bag let me actually look up my zappos receipt and i can tell you exactly how much i paid for it it was 395 so that's nice and again you can find these discounts pretty much anywhere you can find discounts on nordstrom you can find discounts on amazon you can find discounts pretty much wherever they sell coach now if you're in a if you're in a time period where you can't find a discount and if you really want to get this bag then i mean it is 550 dollars it is again on the lower end of luxury handbags because this is considered like a contemporary handbag it's not going to be you know thousands of dollars or anything like that but if you can find it at a sale they'll usually have sales pretty much during any holiday so like memorial day just passed they had a sale I think especially for like Thanksgiving Christmas I got this kind of getting near Christmas time again I got it in November of last year so kind of getting near Christmas time if you get it during pretty much any holiday then that's where you should find your sales let me go ahead and go over the dimensions of this bag and of course they have this bag in loads of different colors as well I know this one comes in like a cream color that's very pretty I like the black first just to have a black bag but 
I do want to get the 18 size really badly. It's so cute and I want to get it in the beautiful like cream color. It would be so nice. When it comes to the material, it is Nappa leather. I was correct when I said Nappa leather earlier because I feel like I remember saying that before. The detachable strap here, oh, and this is also detachable. So like if you wanted to carry this as like a clutch or something, you could do that. But the strap drop for this with the shoulder strap is seven and one fourth inch strap drop and then the detachable long strap so the crossbody strap it has a 21 and a half inch drop for that so it is pretty long again it is adjustable so you can make it shorter or longer depending on which one you fancy for this bag it is 10 and a half inches long it is five and three fourths inches high and it is three inches in width, like depth. So those are the dimensions of the bag. And of course, if you don't want the pillowy style bag, they do have the regular tabby. The tabby style first came out with like the regular tabby bags. And I wanna say they're like a different type of leather or you can get them in canvas, but they're not puffy. They're quite structured. That was the first tabby to come out. And then that like is one of their best sellers, I believe. And then they came out with the pillow tabby because you know how a few months ago we had that trend of like pillow everything. So we had like the Lulu bags from YSL. We had this bag, the puffy style. We had the YSL Lulu puffer bag, that kind of pillowy, puffy texture has been very popular so that is why they came out with this one of course versatility on this bag is going to be phenomenal you have multiple different ways to wear it you can of course wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a top handle if you wanted to you can put it on the crook of your arm you can of course attach the crossbody strap and wear it crossbody and you can detach the shoulder strap altogether and wear it as a clutch if you would like to do that so you have plenty of ways to wear this bag so when it comes to versatility it gets like five out of five stars when it comes to the price I I don't know I feel weird uh, about the price for these bags I know that coach is a very very popular contemporary brand but $550 for this bag I feel like is kind of high I don't know why my Songma Luna bag has four different ways that you can wear it and it's $350. The Marc Jacobs tote bag that I have, I have the mini tote bag in the leather and that retails for $395 on Marc Jacobs website. And this right here, $550? I don't know, I feel like it is a bit high in my opinion, full price, because with taxes, you're gonna be paying around $600 for this bag full price without any kind of sale. So I do think that's honestly quite high for this bag. If you got it for like $395 or $350, even like $400, I feel like it'd be a better price point. I feel like you are probably paying for the Coach name because Coach is probably one of the biggest contemporary brands. Yeah. Let's go over the wear and tear that I have noticed with this bag and I mean, <laughs> I say noticed, I haven't actually noticed any wear and tear. I wore this bag so, 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 so much during winter and like Christmas time last year. And um, there has been literally no wear to this bag. Of course, it's not gonna get color transfer because it is a black bag. So I don't have to worry about anything like that. But even the hardware still looks amazing. You do have this kind of, kind of brassy, rustic looking hardware. Like it's not super shiny. If you can see that, it already looks aged, kind of like an aged gold or an aged brassy hardware. So you're not gonna really see too much wear and tear on the hardware as it is because it already looks worn. <laughs> but other than that, I haven't noticed literally any kind of issue. When it comes to the wear and tear on this bag, it looks literally exactly the same as it did when I first opened it up and did an unboxing. I do, of course, have an unboxing on the channel regarding this bag. So if you haven't seen the unboxing, I will link it down below for you. Opening the bag up, let's talk about what you can fit in the bag. This bag fits a ton of stuff. I will show you what quickly fits in this bag. Give me one sec. I've got my current bag with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go ahead and just put my phone in here because we know she fits. I do have these glasses. I don't have any sunglasses up here to show, but just pretend these are sunglasses. These are just blue light glasses. And of course the sunglasses kind of fit uh, on the top right there. That closes no problem. And then I do have my AirPods that I kind of just pop in because they're super small. 
And then I have my card holder and that just kind of goes in the front. I have my hand sanitizer that can go in. I've got my Chanel hand cream that of course can go in no problem. And then I've got, I actually ran out of gum because I chewed all of it so I don't have any gum but I do have my ibuprofen in here. And then I have my keys. And then of course I just have like some miscellaneous little bits. I've got a travel fragrance, two lip balms, and a pen. And everything goes in no problem. So like you're not gonna have an issue getting things in this bag. Like even if you really stuff this bag, you can't even tell because it's already that puffy texture. You can't even tell that there's like a ton of stuff in here. It's insane, I love it. Now one thing I will say when it comes to this bag, whenever you get all of your stuff put into it, is that it does become quite heavy. This is a pretty heavy bag. So if you are somebody that is worried about it being heavy and if you want a lighter bag, then this may not be the best choice. And everything that I have in this bag I had in my little nano speedy here and this is not very heavy the only thing I didn't have in this bag was my phone so in my phone I can't imagine would make that big of a difference when it comes to the weight but this is very heavy like it would it would start to hurt your shoulder after a while so just keep that in mind if you do end up getting this bag when it comes to the styles or like if it's a casual bag versus a formal bag. I personally think this is more on the casual side just because it is so puffy and it has that like fun texture. So I personally think this is more on the casual side but I also think it would be a good work bag as well. So if you do go into the office or any kind of job, really, I think this would be a great work bag. It looks very chic, it looks very stylish and it looks nice, like it looks very professional. So I feel like if you were to walk in to your place of work with this bag, it still looks really, really nice. I personally would not wear this for a formal time, like a night out or anything, because it is a little bulky. So this right here, I wanna say it is pr pretty much just for casual wear and business work wear if you wanted to do that. I also personally think this is more of a fall winter bag. With it being, again, that puffy texture, I think it kind of falls more into the realm of fall winter because it's getting colder, you wanna bundle up. And this right here is like the perfect little accessory for fall winter. So I probably would not wear this in the spring summer. And I do have a con when it comes to this bag. I actually have two cons. The first con is a little bit nitpicky and I'm actually not sure if mine that I got should have had this and if, and if I just lost it, I don't know. I don't remember ever seeing it, but I could have lost it. I don't wear this bag crossbody, not because I don't like to, it's because I don't like this. There is no second little loop here to go down here to keep this in place. So when I wear a crossbody, this thing is just flying everywhere and I don't like it. Mine didn't come with one. It either didn't come with one or I lost it but I don't remember ever seeing it. So that's one con that I have and I really wish that I could like find one. Maybe I could find one online to like put up here because it really stops me from wearing a crossbody because I don't like this and it's gonna end up curling eventually if I wear it a lot. So that is one con that gets on my nerves. And then the last con I have with this bag, I don't have very many cons because I genuinely think it is a great bag, is this stupid middle pocket. I hate this middle pocket so much. I wish it was not here. I feel like Coach really screwed up when they put this middle freaking pocket in here and you can't take it out and it, it, it just takes up so much space. I would be able to fit so many more things in this bag without this stupid middle pocket. And like, you can't even really fit in that much in here because it's not that big and it's not that deep. So like, you can't even really fit anything in here. And if you did, like it's just gonna protrude from the back and the front. So then you wouldn't be able to fit as much as you would be able to in the back and the front. Like it just takes up so much room and I hate this. That's my only really big con with this bag. And again, I know it's probably situational. I know a lot of people probably like that middle pocket and probably find it very useful. But I feel like most people that I have talked to about this bag and like I've watched reviews and videos on this bag say that they hate the middle pocket also, so.
I don't know. But yeah, you guys, that has pretty much been my, my review on the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag in the 26 size, in the black, with the brass colored hardware. Overall, I love this bag. I think it's a fantastic contemporary handbag. I think if you are looking for something that's very, very chic, very versatile, and easy to style, I think this is a fantastic choice. It is within that contemporary price range. So you're not going to be spending thousands of dollars on this bag. I do think that you should find it at a sale. If you have been like umming and ahhing about this bag, if you have had this on your wish list for a while, but you haven't pulled the trigger, I would totally say that it is worth it. And I think that you will definitely get enough use out of this bag. And it's such good quality for the price as well, except for that middle pocket in here. I don't even have any complaints really about this bag. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this bag. Let me know if you like the style. Let me know if you don't like the style. Let me know if you have this on your wish list or if you're planning to get it at some point. Just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!